When I shower, it's I started just... noticing more hair in the drain. My family was covered in bites. Sure sounded like a storm. The forecast warned about a storm this morning. To a fluvian, it's covered in fracking sites. I wouldn't worry about it. Just get some rest and I'll be back in to check on your heart. Well, a good Samaritan found you passed out, evidently during your morning run. They discovered you near a hydraulic fracturing site in Fluvian Falls. Which one? <coughs> well, it's hard to say, really. There's one on nearly every property in town. I'd like to check on your heart rate. You were having palpitations when you first arrived. There was a frog swimming in my kitchen sink. I go to make a goddamn piece of toast, I smell something burning, and there's a frog in my goddamn toaster. <laughs> then I hear my wife, Ellen, screaming like a banshee. She's upstairs in the bathroom screaming, Frogs! Frogs! They're everywhere! I wonder where all those frogs came from. Well, maybe they migrated because their habitat was contaminated by a high methane output. Or maybe it was just the protesting kids. How are you feeling? I'm feeling well enough to get out of here and fill a fountain with frogs. <laughs> well then, for community's sake, I better keep you in here. Your test results should be ready shortly. In the meantime, just try and... He's been bleeding like this since this morning. Even after his bath. It started with a nosebleed, and then I noticed all these little marks. Mommy said that's enough scratching, Danny. Hi, Danny. Hi, can you raise your arms high up like this? Hi. Higher so I can see your arms. Yep. Pediculus humanus corpus. Your boy has body lice. What are they doing on his body? Why aren't they just in his hair? Well, body lice is uncommon, but there are many possibilities for its presence. Well, I gave him a bath this morning, Doctor. We have a very clean home. Infestations happen to the best of us. I have a dead mare rotting in her stable, and it's only getting hotter outside. <laughs> well, I'm sorry about your horse, but I can't let you leave in your condition. Are you feeling dizzy? Only when I'm upright. <laughs> Sure, all I need is a cold shower and some pills. Why don't you tell me what bit you and where? It was a swarm of horse flies. I entered the stable, and before I could go any farther and look for my girl, I... a swarm of flies rose and attacked me. I could barely see after the attack, but I glimpsed at the spot where she had been. I saw her lying there, motionless. Sorry, who did you see? My Andalusian mare! She was covered in sores and bites. We had such high hopes for her. She was recently trained in musical freestyle. <laughs> the horse was a DJ? Honestly, <laughs> don't be insensitive. My horse had recently earned an Olympic berth in dressage. Sounds like you met Mrs. Atworth. Ah, the horse lady. Friend of yours? Friend of the family. Well, it appears she's had a rough day. <laughs> I'd say the horse had it worse. Well, your blood pressure's pretty low. How are you feeling? I can't stop sweating. My arms and legs are so itchy. It was so hot before the storm. Maybe it's a heat rash or goosebumps or something from the crash. I, I don't know what hit me. Blood, sweat, rainwater, chemicals from the trucks. That storm come out of nowhere. The trucks to crash were from Eris Effluvian. One was leaving the site, one was coming in. They, they didn't see each other. They didn't make it. They burst into flames. The, the creek by the side of the road was on fire. The water! The water was on fire! I heard the thunder and I thought, maybe the storm was starting up again. A dark cloud approached, and the thunder released a piercing cry. And then the hail started. But it wasn't hail. It was cicadas pelting my car. Their little dark bodies bouncing off the windshield. And some of them got stuck under the windshield wipers. So many tiny red eyes bleeding with me. So, what is it you do in the hydraulic fracturing business? Oh, not much, really. Uh, I'm in college right now. My dad is Don Aris of Aris Fluvian. Uh, he's taught me some of the field jargon. Hi, honey. What? No damage at all. 
The orchard is completely intact. Not a branch on the ground? <laughs>